So today I'm going to be reviewing the Hornady Magnum Sonic Cleaner. Basically it is this um, very simple box here and what we have is a temperature up and down. And so I have this set at 140 and this is the on off button. It's taken about, um, let's see, about an hour to go from room temp up to 136 so we're close. Uh, then we have a timer that you know, I can set minutes and seconds and then uh, this on off button that's what it sounds like so inside here we've got a lid and then we've got a, uh, a basket and I've already loaded this with distilled water and then just a, a, a small amount of Hornady's gun parts formula sonic clean solution so we're going to dip a few items in and see how well it cleans so I have taken the slide off of my Glock 34 and so um, I fired about 400, 500 rounds through this, and so there's a fair amount of buildup. Um, and so let's uh, go ahead and, well, it is actually not going to go in. Oh, there we go. Okay, and we've also got the barrel. And we'll go ahead and just chuck the spring and guide rod in there for good measure. So. I'm going to go ahead and turn this on and let's see what happens. Alright, so I can see a bunch of, bunch of bubbles coming up. Good stuff. So, the, the amount of buzzing that's going on, it's, it's actually fairly loud. Um, I had some friends over the other day who didn't know what this was, and I, I turned, turned, turned it on and <laughs> kind of scared them, and uh, they kind of had the reaction like uh, nails on chalkboard. So, you know, just be, uh, just be prepared. I mean, it doesn't bother me, uh, but for some folks, yeah, you know, it might be a little, uh, little sensitive to this kind of noise. So I'm just flipping it over just because I want to see what kind of uh, what kind of gunk's coming off on the bottom. Looks like it needs uh, you know a little bit more time. So I'm gonna let this sit for about uh, let's see we'll probably do it for 10 minutes and come back and check in. The water's getting cloudy. Um, it's probably a combination of the cleaning solution, which is a little little uh, cloudy, and then probably a bunch of carbon another fouling coming off so we'll, we'll come back in a bit the cleaner has been going for about 15 minutes and there's a timer which is going to turn this off right there there's also a manual off button on the side here if you just want to manually turn it off and so uh, I'm wearing gloves because the water temperature is a hundred and 43 degrees right now, so uh, you know pretty hot. Um, you know you, you probably want to wear a little something um, unless you want to uh, you know risk burning yourself. But anyway, um, on the surface of the fluid, I see a bunch of uh, looks like some brass uh, kind of shavings and other kind of stuff. And wow, yeah, looking at the slide here, there is just a lot of stuff that was there that no longer is there. So that is very nice to see. Um, there's still some stuff right here on the safety plunger, but it, it's sort of lodged in there. Um, and then some carbon deposits here. Um, so, you know, I'll have to do some, looks like maybe a little bit of, uh, a little bit of, uh, you know, scraping and such. But all in all, this is, this is really, really nice. It's sort of, Let's take a look at the barrel. Yeah, the barrel, let's see. On the outside, it looks very clean. Um, hold on here. Okay, so there's, there's, some, there's some stuff that did not come off. And it looks like the end of the barrel, too, looks a little, uh, yeah, there's still a little bit of fouling. So, you know, I'm going to place that back in there and let it keep going. And then... This is very clean, so I'm just going to set this off to the side here. Let all that dry. I'm going to let the barrel run a little bit longer. And so, obviously, every single um, you know part may not take the exact amount of time to clean, uh, depending on how much you you shot uh, you know through the barrel and through the gun. So uh, 
we'll run this a little bit more and come back with another gun piece. So I actually field stripped the slide even further all the way down, took out you know, everything in the back there. And um, yeah, everything's looking a lot more clean after another 15 minute session. So I think the moral of the story is, you know, the longer you put this in for, uh, right, the cleaner it's gonna get, which should be no surprise. And yeah, this barrel is looking really, really clean now. Um, you know, both inside, let me just confirm, yeah, both inside and then on the outside and at the muzzle end and uh, through a bunch of uh, these fun pieces here. Let me just take a quick look. Yeah, it looks like that is yeah, just a little bit of debris. Um, one thing you should note is that you need to wash all these parts out under uh, water. Um, so you don't want to just, you know, uh, let, them, let them dry. Uh, you want to rinse them off. There, um, there's also some residue. Wow, that water is really hot. Um, so you want to get all that residue out. Um, obviously, I can just uh, lift up the basket like that. Gosh, I'm a genius. Or you can do what I did and you know just keep on dipping your, your hands in the 140 degree water. Um, you decide which is smarter and which is best for your personal excitement and your health. So I'm gonna go rinse these off and uh, basically dry them off and then you just lube everything back up and assemble your gun and you're good to go. All right, so there you have it. The Hornady Sonic Cleaner is a, a great machine. And you know some of the things that you should be careful about is making sure that you've got fresh cleaning solution in the machine. And the other thing to note is that it can take uh, upwards of uh, 30 to 60 minutes for the machine to heat up uh, to 140 degrees. Obviously, it just depends on how warm or cold the environment is and how hot or cold the water is uh, that you start up with. But you know, once you throw your items in there and let it run for anywhere between you know 15 to, to 30, 40 minutes, it just sort of depends on your item and how clean or dirty it is. Uh, you know, it'll it, it could take some time to get your items clean. But anyway, thanks for watching and hope you come back again soon. Hey there, so thanks for watching again. If you want to click on my face, you can subscribe to my channel where I have a lot of other videos that are going to be full of gear reviews and some opinion pieces coming up shortly, so hope you enjoy.